Welcome everyone for joining another Silicon Labs product podcast. Today we're fortunate to have Nathan Nunley joining us. Nathan's going to talk to us a little bit about the Friends of Hue program and what that exactly is and then some questions that we might have. Uh, Nathan is the Senior Product Manager for the devices in the IoT home and consumer business unit. And so he has a lot of information that he can share with this and he'll help us all out better understanding what it is. So Nathan, thanks for joining us today. Yep, thanks for having me, Kyle, appreciate it. So the reason I, uh, I reached out to you to join me is that I read the press release that announced the Friends of Hue program. And the press release was between uh, Silicon Labs and Signify. And I just wanted to get a little bit more information. I thought our audience would be interested in some of the details. Um, can you answer a couple questions for us? Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, I guess the most obvious question that you might want to start with is what exactly is the Friends of Hue program? And you know, what is the partnership that Silicon Labs has with Signify? Yeah, so Friends of Hue is a partner program between Signify and smart switch manufacturers that is enabled by Silicon Labs. So if we maybe start with a problem statement, Signify with their Hue lighting system has an issue with traditional light switches where the building codes will mandate that light switches have to turn off mains power to the LED bulbs. Uh, in, this, in this case, this is going to be the Hue smart bulbs. Well, when the power is turned off, then the smart bulb is, is turned off. So then the, the user of the Hue system can't control it from the smartphone app or from their voice controlled assistant. So it really it creates a poor user experience for you know, Hue customers. Signify's solution here is to create this uh, smart switch Friends of Hue program where it'll enable third party manufacturers to build Zigbee based uh, battery powered light switches. So these switches are gonna be battery powered so that even when the switch is in the off position, they're still gonna be powered provided uh, to the smart bulb from, uh, uh, from, the, from the mains line. So that's basically, you know, even though the smart switch is in powered off, then the Hue consumer can still control it from the smartphone app and they're, you know, if they have a, some kind of voice control device. And then where Silicon Labs comes in is that we're basically enabling this program. Signify has written the Friends of Hue cluster, which is a specification defining how third-party devices integrate seamlessly into the Hue system. Silicon Labs, as a Zigbee solution provider, uh, provides the Friends of Hue software that is compliant to the to the cluster specification. So that's actually you know the the software is what the smart switch manufacturers are going to need to integrate into the Hue system. So that's where Silicon Labs comes in. Okay, that's that's pretty clear. I, a matter of fact, I've started installing some wireless bulbs in my house, and those switches are definitely sort of sort of the bottleneck. I had to get some of those wired uh, switches, and it just creates more and more complexity. So it's going to be exciting to see some of these uh, wireless battery switches uh, in the future. Yeah. Uh, so who are you specifically targeting? I mean, what type of companies do you think are going to be interested in joining the Friends of You program? Yeah, so the, the partner opportunities for Friends of Hue today is pretty specific. So it is for uh, smart switch manufacturers who are building Zigbee-based uh, battery-powered light switches and who also have a brand name. So it's, it's, a, it's a pretty targeted program at the moment. But, you know, this is where, you know, Signify is looking to partner with, you know, other branded companies who are building best-in-class light switches and who either have or, you know, want to build Zigbee-based and then battery-powered light switches to, you know, partner with Signify, um, integrate their devices into the Hue ecosystem, and, you know, basically sell, you know, sell their hardware and their, their solutions into, into Hue consumers, you know, Hue customers. Um, so that's uh, specifically who's it for. Um, so where that maybe does sound a little bit constrained, it is also a worldwide program. So, you know, Signify is really looking to work with uh, any switch manufacturer worldwide, you know, U.S., uh, EMEA, um, China, Japan, Taiwan, et cetera, you know, APAC, to, you know, build kind of regional solutions, um, you know, utilize regional brand names, and then also utilize regional go-to-market channels if they're specific, you know, retailers, et cetera, where some of these consumers, you know, might get their, might get their lighting solutions today. So that's, that's kind of who exactly it's for. 
Okay, and a, a side question would be, there these light switches, they're going to add maybe a, a color control or dimming. Uh, so they're, that's where they're going to add in some of their, their intelligence or differentiation is, is what they add on top of just being a, a, a light switch. Yeah, exactly. So that's where, you know, Signify is really looking to this, uh, this kind of ecosystem, you know, to, to add value to light switches. So that could be industrial design, that could be some of the features, um, it could, that could be some of the cost points, or it could just be as simple as, you know, you know they, uh, the go-to-market channels and they can make it more, uh, make these smart switches more easily accessible to consumers today. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so how, how would some of these new customers get involved in the program? What's the process for them uh, to, to start? Do they need to be, I mean, is it an approval process? How do they get started? Yeah, it's a great question. And yes, they do need approval and specifically uh, they'll need approval from Signify. So, uh, you know, Silicon Labs, we offer this, uh, you know, friends of you enabling software, but we can't actually provide it to any customer of ours or partner of Signify until we get, you know, an email approval from Signify stating that, you know, XYZ is in the event, is in the, the is, is confirmed in the partner program. So uh, consu- or the uh, uh, manufacturers would get started today. They can engage Signify. The, they, they, there's a dedicated Friends of Hue team. So if they have that relationship, but again, they can also engage Silicon Labs. Uh, so Silicon Labs can facilitate some of those introductions and relationships, you know, kind of being that we're an enabler of the partner program here. And so you, the, uh, a customer could reach out to a local Silicon Labs representative. And then we also have a landing page on our website, scilabs.com, where you can enter your, in your information and, you know, a uh, Silicon Labs contact will reach out to, you know, kind of take some of the next steps. I'll put that uh, link in the, the podcast notes so anybody listening could uh, easily find that. That's a good, good suggestion. So once they get approved and they're part of the program, what do they get from Silicon Labs? I mean, what what are some of the deliverables or, or some of the things that they're going to get when they work with Silicon Labs? Yeah, absolutely. So the key thing that they're going to get is access to the Friends of Hue software. And we'll kind of make that available on a one, you know, one-off basis through our um, tool set, Simplicity Studio. And then the second thing is we can provide a Friends of Hue development kit. It's basically a, a hardware reference dev- design built off of our Mighty Gecko products that will simulate a Friends of Hue smart switch. And so this will enable some of the features that, that Signify is looking for for the Friends of Hue smart switches, uh, the specific Zigbee behavior, some of the security implementations, the you know, CapSense um, capabilities for uh, controlling the lighting functions, um, and then also the uh, kind of some of the energy profiling optimizations, because, again, this is a, a battery power device. So we've done a little bit of work to, you know, uh, uh, optimize the power consumption, thus extending the battery life. So that that uh, development kit is really the, the second the second main component. OK, so it really gets them started, gives them what they need. Uh, they obviously have uh, resources like yourself to to answer any questions. But the, the hardware and the software is a, a, a real quick start. Uh, so what to, to wrap up the, the podcast, Nathan, what do you see as the future? What do you see 12 months out? Where do you see the Friends of Hue uh, taking uh, customers and also Silicon Labs? Where do you see it headed? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so you know, we can't comment exactly on the Signify roadmap because, again, that they, they do own that. But I think the spirit and the direction is that they will – Look to uh, enable you know, probably a small number of Zigbee-based device device types that would complement the Hue lighting system, right? Because at the end of the day, the you know Signify is really focused on these on their, their Hue lighting solution. So I, I think probably the main example might be uh, potentially you know a line-powered version of the Zigbee light switch. Um, there are a number of you know light Zigbee light switches out there in the market today that you know could be good partners for Signify. Um, you know, maybe things like a motion sensor where the motion sensor could activate, you know, lights that are in the area. 
Um, so those are some some ideas of where you know Signify might be able to take you know take the program, which we'd be really excited to support. And then I think for Silicon Labs, uh, the direction we, we're looking to take it is, of course, our Series Two uh, product portfolio for wireless Gecko, you know, and enable some of the next generation features that you know we're supporting in Series Two, and kind of incorporate that hardware and software in the into this program as well. Okay, well. Thanks a lot, Nathan, for taking the time. This is all very exciting. I, I know, as I mentioned, my home has a lot of smart lights and, and the ability to, to add more to the, to the controls and the intelligence is going to be uh, really exciting over the next couple of years. Uh, can you remind the listeners one more time, where, where do you suggest they go to get more information on this? Yeah, so we should have uh, – the best place is going to be to enter your contact information onto scilabs.com. We do have a, a landing page dedicated on scilabs.com for the Friends of Hue program. Uh, if you enter your contact information there, we'll have somebody reach out. It could actually be myself or potentially one of our local contacts, uh, but you know, we'll, we'll definitely look to engage you and tell you more about the program and you know, potentially make an introduction to, to Signify if um, you know, that's kind of the right set of next steps. So you know, we'd really welcome to, to, to talk to you moving forward. Perfect. All right. Well, thanks again, Nathan. And thanks to all the listeners for listening on this podcast. Be sure to check out the other topics that we have on our podcast episodes. And we look forward to talking to you in the future, Nathan. Thanks. Thank you.